is uh, executed on the continent. And we're already seeing results because within the space of the three years of running this competition, we, we, we've been able to identify 500 innovations. Okay? Assuming that competition was not there, maybe this innovation would not have come up. And some of the innovations are already now going to the market. For instance, you saw one of the young, uh, young, young person who won today that is able to uh, provide a very breakthrough innovation, low-cost incubator that can be able to support our poultry farmers to be able to quickly, you know, um, 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 hatch eggs, a hundred of them, you know, uh, you know, a hundred of them or three hundred of them. That's, that's preciseness. That's the sort of efficiency that we are looking for within the agri-food system of the continent, you know. For such a technology, it's low cost, as far as what she has told us, that the cost of that incubator is 300,000 you know, Uganda shillings, okay? So assuming those incubators go out, then that means you be, you're able to uh, have chicks, you know, or chicken go out. You know, you have a farmer who is able to, uh, you know, uh, bring about efficiencies in terms of keeping poultry. A grand prize of 50 million Ugandan shillings with a solar egg incubator. This incubator was a uh, was, uh, university's university class project at the start but i got uh, an opportunity to scale up through citt at Bara university of science and technology and after that we went to uh, to collaboration with muzadi mokono with uh, which gave us a grand prize of 1.5 million shillings in july i think it is important to follow up with this innovation beyond the concepts and what they have presented to now put them to another level where they can be rolled over and, uh, and taken up by the farmers. These are wonderful innovations, soil testing kits.